Oh, hey there, it's me, Kayvon, the most famous half-Persian comedian in the world. You know, I make a lot of hilarious sketches. I put them on my YouTube. Here's one about coming out of the closet in 2020. Watch how hard it can be. Okay. These are your friends. They're your family. Tell them how you feel. Speak from the heart. They'll understand. You got this. Excuse me, everyone. So I have a very important announcement to make. This November, I'm voting for Trump. So what do you think? Bro. Get out! Oh, you can't. Could you? You're so mean! Get out of our house! That was way harder the second time. <laughs> <laughs> See, nobody thinks I'm funnier than me. <laughs> With that said, it's time to pick a candidate based on Who's the most pro-LGBTQ out of the two? Will it be Trump or Biden? There's no reason to be biased. Let's let their own words do the talking. Roll the clips. You leave it the way it is. There have been very few complaints the way it is. People go, they use the bathroom that they feel is appropriate. So, so if Caitlyn Jenner were to walk into Trump Tower, and want to use the bathroom, you would be fine with her using any bathroom she chooses. That is correct. Why do we need a constitutional amendment? Marriage is between a man and a woman. What's the game going on here? A radical Islamic terrorist targeted the nightclub, not only because he wanted to kill Americans, but in order to execute gay and lesbian citizens because of their sexual orientation. It's a strike at the heart and soul of who we are as a nation. I came out as conservative a year ago. And I came I, I, out as conservative. Came it's out a as fascinating phrase. The way the left plays identity politics is we hate you evil white men or, you know, this is my 72 genders or all this stuff. So I feel like they use identity politics not only in a super negative and controlling way, but as a way to, to get people's votes. If you were at a fancy restaurant in Washington five, six years ago, at an important business meeting, and a gay or a lesbian waiter came up, or transgender, spoke with a lisp or demonstrated they were gay or lesbian, and someone at that luncheon table said, made fun of that person, no one would have said anything. Come on, man. People keep telling me that all these conservatives hate gay people, and I go to events all over the place, all over the country, yeah. all over the world, and I meet all of these conservatives, yeah. but I don't find that there's any real pushback against gay people from conservatives anymore. I just don't see it. A friend of mine called up, he said, you know, you don't get enough credit because in Palm Beach, you opened a club that nobody would do, nobody would do, and it's open to everybody. It's open to everybody. And a person, a member of the club, great guy, who's gay, wrote this magnificent letter saying what Donald Trump did, nobody else would do. Let's try to avoid nuance, Senator. Let me do be you support gay marriage? No, Barack Obama nor I support redefining from a, from a civil side what constitutes marriage. We do not support that. Um, I don't know what they're going to do when, when Daddy gets into the White House, but, um, <laughs> but no, it's terrifying. I should tell people, when you say Daddy, you're talking Trump. Just for the people that don't know all everybody, your lingo everybody. just yet, you're everybody. referring to Trump. We'll get to I'm referring to, to the God Emperor. To Trump. I will do everything in my power to protect our LGBTQ citizens from the violence and oppression of a hateful foreign ideology. Believe me. And I have to say, as a Republican, it is so nice to hear you cheering for what I just said. Thank you. Biden did not say directly that the federal government should recognize same-sex marriage. How would you support your father? We know you. you. We know your best friends are gay. We know your best friends are this, this, this. I say, it's because my father has always supported all of you. Okay? He's not doing it. He's never politics and he's not doing it for politics. The LGBT community, they are incredible and you should see how they've come out in, in full force for my father every single day. I'm part of that community and we love the man. Coming out as a Republican, I've lost so many friends. You know, I've been told I'm an anti-ally, I've been told I'm transphobic, I've been called a racist, I've been called the worst kind of gay there is. And I don't care because with all that hate, you know, you have to have thick skin to be a Trump supporter because look at how much hate our president gets. 
Do you support marriage equality? I, I, it's irrelevant because it was already settled. It's law. It was settled in the Supreme Court. I mean, it's done. These cases have gone to the Supreme Court. They've been settled. And uh, I think I'm, I'm fine with you know, that. My feelings about this are constantly uh, evolving. I struggle with this. For Trump, it's because there's peace here. You know, there's no violence. You know, and, and that's something that I like. Talk about a constitutional amendment to ban gay marriage. You know, think about this. The world's going to Hades in a handbasket, and we're going to debate the next three weeks, I'm told, gay marriage and God only knows what else. I can't believe the American people can't see through this. We already have a law, the Defense of Marriage Act, where we've all voted, not where I voted and others said, look, marriage is between a man and a woman, and states must respect that. We interviewed a gay couple supporting Donald Trump. Time for a change. Trump's the man for it. Now, plus, I really feel like he would bring more jobs to the country and he would, like, the system and everything would just be a hell of a lot better with Trump. Moore and Leinhardt were ridiculed by commenters as uneducated, rednecks, traitors to the gay community. Another commenter writes, two bricks directly into their faces. The couple also says they've been getting death threats. You have also praised Vice President Mike Pence as a decent guy. <laughs> Um, You're a lovely person. Just asking the questions that people want to know. All right, fire away. All right, so. We're voting for Trump because we judge the leadership of our country to have failed. What Trump represents isn't crazy, and it's not going away. He points toward a new Republican Party. Getoutspoken.com. Fact check the complete truth about Joe Biden's LGBT record, and it's not good. Biden voted for an amendment to cut off federal funding for schools that taught any kind of acceptance of homosexuality as an appropriate lifestyle. Might as well stick with Trump. At least we know he's real. That's who he is. We don't have to accept another fake character in office or somebody who say they're going to do all of this and da 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 da. Then when they get in there, it's a whole At least we know Trump now. In representation, Biden's home state newspaper describes him as being very silent when it comes to gay rights. We need to stop putting people into these boxes and categorizing them based on their gender or sexuality or, or religion. There is a tradition of gay men within the GOP. They're called the log cabin Republicans. Pressler came out to his conservative Catholic parents after the Orlando nightclub attacks. He wants the world to understand that even though he's gay, Trump's priorities match his. He understands me. He understands that I want national security. I want jobs for our country. I want to put the American people first. He gets it. In children and families, Biden voted for the Defense of Marriage Act. Let Bernie tell you all about it. Our brothers and sisters in the LGBT community, uh, today, thank God, it is relatively easy to be a champion of gay rights. 25 years ago, when it was not so easy to stand up for the LGBT community. And during that time, uh, I stood with the LGBT community when there was a very difficult vote. I remember it very well, because we got a lot of negative, negative responses from Vermont. And that is the so-called DOMA Act, Defense of Marriage Act. And what that act was about was saying is that what marriage is about is a marriage between a man and a woman. That's what it is. We reject gay marriage. That was a tough vote. 14 members of the United States Senate at that time voted against the so-called Defense of Marriage Act. Uh, Joe Biden was not one of them. All the way up until the mid-2000s, Biden called same-sex marriage a state issue and repeatedly stated marriage is between a man and a woman. Pete Buttigieg, don't you think it's just great to see the fact that you've got a guy there with his husband and it's normal, it's not even I seen as a big deal. I think it's absolutely fine, I do. I and, but it's it's a, it's, isn't it a sign of great progress in the country that that's just... Yeah, I think it's great. I think that's uh, something that perhaps some people will have a problem with. I have no problem with it whatsoever. I think it's good. In the 2008 campaign, Biden refused to back gay marriage. Are, are you seeing place. anyone? Can I be nosy? Uh, not particularly. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of people. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of people. <laughs> Women-wise? Women-wise, yeah. I'm yeah. into women more than men. I mean, you know, I'm all for guys that like men, but I'm, it's just not my thing. Right. Um, you really like women. I never really understood that. What? 
guys that like guys. Well, I, I think well, it's terrific if they're really into it. But, you know, and if I were into it, I'd be into it. But I like women. That's my definite preference. <laughs> I Biden voted for Don't Ask, Don't Tell, which kicked 14,500 service members out of the U.S. military in 1993. Uh, furthermore, uh, Joe supported banning gay Americans from serving in the military. On this particular case, the LGBTQ community, Joe Biden is no different. In fact, it's a good chance that he might be worse than your average Democrat. Biden's quote unquote gut reaction on the issue was that homosexuals were security threats. Security, th okay. It is time for us to speak with one loud, clear voice and say no more. The left stranglehold on homosexuals is over. Yep. <laughs> The point is Democrats are pretending to be longtime allies of the LGBTQ community, and once again, they're completely lying. Just look at the record. President Clinton has signed the bill that bans the federal government from recognizing same-sex marriages. Without fanfare, after returning from a campaign trip after midnight, Mr. Clinton signed the bill. The White House says the president has long opposed government recognition of homosexual marriages. Hey, you've been talking about LGBT rights. Would you declare LGBT Pride Month, uh, is, which has been done every year for the past eight years? Well, that's something you would do I as, would as look president. into it, and I feel so badly what happened, and we have to do something about it. And just remember, some of these countries that are contributing to Hillary Clinton, some of these countries where we're taking in thousands of people, they kill gays, right? They kill gays. They enslave women. They enslave women. And yet they give money to Hillary Clinton. She accepts it. She wants more people to come into this country. I'm better for women, and I'm better for gays. I am better for a lot of people, and I think people are starting to see that. I believe that marriage is not just a bond, but a sacred bond between a man and a woman. I believe that marriage is between a man and a woman. The LGBT community, these are people that had a place, and this was a place of safety. This is a place where people felt safe. And if you think about it, what the violation that took place and that was allowed to take place. With respect to gay marriage, I, I do not support uh, gay marriage. The violation that took place, and it's due to weakness. It's weakness on behalf of our leadership. It's weakness. People don't respect our country anymore. Define marriage. I believe that marriage uh, is the union between a man and a woman. People don't respect our leadership anymore. People don't respect us anymore. But let me tell you, they're going to respect you folks because things are going to change. Other prominent Republicans voiced support and openness to same-sex marriage long before Biden, including Vice President candidate Dick Cheney. The uh, fact of the matter is we live in a free society and, and freedom means freedom for everybody. We don't get to choose and shouldn't be able to choose and say, you get to live free, but you don't. And, and I think that means that people should be free to enter into any kind of relationship they want to enter into. It's really no one else's business in terms of uh, trying to regulate or, or prohibit behavior in that regard. I did support that law, but I think that we should find a way uh, to allow some kind of uh, civic unions. I believe marriage is between a man and a woman. I believe that marriage is between a man and a woman, and so does John Kerry. Do you support civil unions or gay marriage? I do, I do not. Now, if we're being completely honest, the Trump administration did put a ban on transgenders in the military, which came at the advice of the generals. He loses a point for that. The only way he can get the point back is if he does something like this. If you care about LGBTQIA plus people, then you're going to have to vote for Trump. Or 
if you think both are completely homophobic, sexophobic, xenophobic, which I don't like using those terms, but the left does, that's your game, then you cannot vote for either, which means this November 3rd, stay home. Don't mail in your ballot. Don't show up at the polls. Your vote will not be needed because both candidates have broken your sacred rules. There you have it. Be sure to argue about it in the comments. We love to see that. And subscribe to youtube.com slash caveoncomedy because just like that video, I have 300 more that are sure to make you laugh and think. See you next time.